Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Holly. Today I have another Etsy sticker haul to share with you. I might have a few other things that come in uh, before I go ahead and post this video, but I'm going to go ahead and film the first part today since I want to get some of these things put away and I actually want to start using some of them. So let me go ahead and dive in. As always, I will have timestamp links in the description bar in case you want to jump around or one of you guys mentioned in the comments that you use them to come back and like refer to like for name of the kit or just to like look up something before you buy, which I thought was really awesome. And I will have links below as well as any coupon codes that I have um, or ref you know discount referral links, that kind of thing will all be below. So let's go ahead and dive in. And first up, we have a kit from a shop that I love for functional stuff, but I've actually never bought a full kit from her, and that's Aria's Daydream. I have bought like a ton of her functional stuff and um, did try one of her mini kits one time, but I had not bought one of her full kits yet and really excited to try it out. It seems like she has a great format and I bought this during like the PGE sale, which was like basically the um, PBC sale ripoff or just like another conglomerate of shops, but basically it was 25% off and I wasn't planning on shopping with her that weekend. And then when she posted this on Instagram, I was like, well, I have to order now. So um, anyway, let me go ahead and show you the little freebie she included. She included two, which I thought was awesome. One of these was just, she called it the PGE exclusive freebie, um, which is so cute. I love her freebies. I've actually pulled them into spreads before because I find them really functional because she has like the time to plan, the adorable little air and con with like a sticky note on it that says plan and then she has some functional stuff extra habit trackers this buy all the stickers one I think is so funny um, I think this is a great freebie and this one's in matte her matte paper is really nice too um, and then this one actually coordinates with the kit which is awesome because you get some extra functional stuff to pull in so you extra label little scallop box buy all the stickers another habit tracker they'll do really great so this is her Park Avenue kit and I just got her basic full kit she does have some extra add-ons like um, glitter headers and she has like one other thing I forget what it is but I just decided to stick to her basic kit her basic kits are really affordable it's 18 bucks for a glossy um, kit and you get like easily a full week's worth and um, and then I got it like 25% off too so that was super awesome um, but let me go ahead and show you what is in here and so first up we have the functional sheet that has all your regular heart checklists your weekend banner three habit trackers i love how many she includes a weekly ombre a ton of icons like a lot of different stuff and then some really cute functional deco this is what i love aria's daydream for i love all of these stickers like the adulting is hard but first coffee her me time these planners are super cute really like her flags all of her kits have like touches of glitter and i find it very pretty it's not over the top on the glitter but it's just kind of little glitter woven throughout and if you guys know anything about me you know I love purple I especially love muted purples and pinks I just love them together so when I saw the color scheme of this kit I was like yep I have to get that um so here are the full boxes I love this I think it's such like a glam but not like over the top glam kit the boxes with the black and the like marble so beautiful the quote box says elegance is not about being noticed it's about being remembered which I don't know if I agree with that, but I, but it's a nice quote box. And then at the bottom here, you do get um, some extra little appointment boxes with the little glitter on them. I think that's awesome. And then here you get, God, you get a lot of, you get six, no, 12 half boxes and nine quarter boxes, which is awesome. And then you get some extra bill dues and appointment box at the bottom there. These are really cute. Her glossy paper is super nice, really nice glossy. And then here are her full box checklists and she does like a little asterisk um, and you get eight of those and you get an extra weekly ombre um, and then you get some extra appointment labels at the bottom. I think I personally prefer the heart because I just don't know how to check that off. Like what do you do? You could put a check through it, but I think it'll look weird. It won't look as cute as the heart, but that's just my thought. And then here you have your headers and little things and she does not do color blocked headers, which um, I think sometimes I like that. Like I like color blocking, but sometimes I like just a standard like look here, like the three different colors and then you get a different color for your sidebar and then you get all of your little things and you get plenty of, you get enough little things to do the whole week and then you get enough TVs for the Full week asterisks and hearts lots of good stuff here and then finally you get this washi sheet look at this bottom washi I just thought this was so pretty oops that's the little extra piece she gives you 
here's the bottom washi. I just thought this was so stunning. And then you get, um, you get a bunch of other washies. You get these ones. You could even use the plain ones as labels, and then you get some extra printed washi as well. So if you wanted to do a no white space kit, you could. You get enough washi here that you could do that. So I just thought this kit was so pretty. I just really was drawn to the purples, and I've been wanting to check out one of her full kits. So I thought this was a good opportunity. So that was it from Aria's Daydream. Just that one kit. And then next up, I have a small order here from Hello Petite Paper. This was an order I placed over Easter weekend. She had a discount code, I believe, but her, because she's in Portugal, it always does take a little bit longer to reach here. And this is actually a monthly kit that I think you will see in a monthly kit smackdown before you see this haul. And if so, I will leave that linked below. Um, I'll probably just go through this pretty quickly because um, I, you'll probably see it there. But I put, bought this on like April 15th or so, kind of knowing that it wouldn't make it here in time for the start of May, but that is perfectly fine. Same with another monthly kit that you'll see in this haul, but I just like to do them to test them out for you guys. And I've been wanting to try out her kit and I thought it was super cute. And the discount code was a good excuse to do that. Here's her little business card, very cute. I love the little swans, um, really, really cute. And then here's the little freebie. This one says, thank you for supporting Handmade and has a bunch of her little, like ugh, this little road trip one is really, really cute, but like a lot of little deco things there. And then I did pick up just a couple sheets of her I guess, I guess you would call it multicolor, but more just like functional stuff. She doesn't really do like a true Roy G. Biv functional scheme. She does like really soft colors and like really unique designs. Hello Petite Paper is run by Vanessa and Vanessa does hand draw everything in her shop, which I think is so cool. I love supporting uh, shops that are run by artists. I love supporting all shops, but um, I think it's extra cool to support like an artist for making a living using their art. But anyway, um, I picked up this sheet. I had my eye on it for a little while. I want to make a point to like get more pedicures. One, because real talk, my feet are not cute. Number two, because I just feel like I need to be doing a little bit more like real self-care. Like obviously I spend a lot of time on my hobbies, which is like YouTube and exercise and all that, but I don't give myself a ton of like, like chill, like not a ton of like real chill time where I'm just like, I'm not on my phone and I'm not like um, doing YouTube or stuff like that. And I think I want to, maybe this is just an excuse to go get a pedicure, but um, but I do think pedicures would be good for that. So um, I got this and I just thought the little nail polishes were super cute. And I do like getting manicures occasionally. I have like total man hands and I always destroy um, my manicures, but um but I just thought this sheet was cute. That was a long explanation for why that sheet was cute. And then I got her little mixed coffee sheet. And I just thought, again, this is adorable. Um, and these prints, you know, sometimes I'm kind of torn because I don't like getting prints that don't match with my kits. But I think some of these are springy and generic enough that you could bring them into whatever. Um, and I just thought these were so cute with the little bow on them. And I loved how she had like a mix of, you know, ones with script and ones that are plain, Coffee Monday, Coffee Run. Really, really cute. And then the final little sheet I got was, this is her little like functional deco add-on. I forget what she calls it, but it goes along with her swan kit. Also forget what that was called, but I picked that up earlier this spring and I haven't used it yet. And I, um, at the time that I bought this, I think this sheet was out of stock, so I hadn't gotten it, but I love this sheet for her kit. So I went ahead and picked this up because it was back in stock. And look at that little like frappuccino with the swans on it, the camera, the planner, the happy mail, the little sleeping mask the cucumbers. This is just so cute. So I did get all of these on matte, by the way. Um, she does have a new glossy paper she's trying out that I got her mystery kit and I'll be receiving that later this month. And um, I'm really excited to try her new glossy because her old glossy wasn't my favorite. So that's why I get her matte, but I'm hopeful about the new glossy. And then finally, the main reason for the order was trying out this monthly kit. Like I said, I'll leave it linked below. It's just a three page kit here. You have the covers for the um, top and then some vacation strips. And then here you have covers for the days not in the month, some holidays, some write on full boxes, payday and some little functional deco. And then here you have a stackable sidebar, some labels, icons, and just the headers for the sidebars. So very cute little kit. I'm excited to try that out. And if I be on the look for that, if you haven't seen it already. So that is it from Hello Petite Paper. Next up, staying on the traveling internationally trend, we have 
GP Sticker Studio. These stickers came from Australia. Um, and I love Gabby's shop. She is so awesome. I was especially excited about this order because it is her new papers. So GP Sticker Studio always did um, like a matte vinyl paper, but now she's trying out both a glossy and a premium matte. So I got both so I could give you guys the lowdown on what I like best. Um, and Gabby was so sweet. She included this, this sticky note is really cute. I think that was from like a My Newest Addiction box. That's really cute. Um, but she included this cute little note and then she wrote hashtag team purple, which made me so happy. Thank you, Gabby, that cracked me up. Um, but her mystery kit was one of the things in the order. Oh, sorry. If you don't wanna see the mystery kit, go to the next shop. <laughs> but I think everybody's gotten theirs by now. Um, but yes, her April mystery kit was purple themed and I am so excited about it. And I got her mystery kit in her new premium matte paper. And this was my first time getting one of her mystery kits and she keeps it like, it's not too much of a mystery. Like she she showed like a sneak that was, I think kind of like this so that you kind of knew what you're getting into. So I knew there would be purple. I knew there would be bikes. I kind of got the vibe that it was gonna be like very blogger themed, which turned out to be true. Um, and so I didn't feel like I was taking too much of a risk given even though I hadn't seen the entire kit. And so I got her mystery kit on the premium matte and it is so cool guys. It's like a really, really, so this is the, on the, I think the freebie is on the matte vinyl, but then the actual mystery kit is on the premium matte and guys, it's so weird. So the back of the paper is clear. Look how weird that is. Isn't that funny? It's like, hi hands. Um, that's so, it's so different. It's so different than any other like paper I've tried. Like I've never had a paper with that kind of clear opaque, like clear backing. Um, but the paper itself feels super nice. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a pen um, just to test it out. I kind of don't want to like mar the paper here, but like, let's just do this. Oh, it's so nice. These are my current favorite pens. They're tool and um, it's just like a regular gel pen. That is really, really nice. So that is an amazing paper, Gabby. Super, super nice. Seems like the cuts are really good, which is honestly one of my big fears with premium matte. Often people have a hard time getting the, the cuts right, but this feels super, super nice. And like all the cuts seem amazing. It's not like sticking at all. So if you are a premium matte fan, definitely try this out. It's more of a rubbery premium matte feel. I always describe premium mattes as either rubbery or papery. This is rubbery, um, which I definitely like. Um, you know, I, I, you know, for me, it's kind of six in one, half a dozen another. Um, I know some people don't really like papery premium mats. I do. I think this is what people, when people talk about premium mats, they think more of a rubbery feel. And this is what that has. Um, this is really comfortable. This is really, really nice. It feels, the back feels weird. Like the back is kind of tripping me out with like how, like, um, it feels just like, I don't know, it's crazy. But anyway, so these are really nice. They're pretty flexible. They're a little thicker than some other premium mats, but they're really nice. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm like giving you guys like a full review but of the papers, but figured you wanna know. I know that's why a lot of people haven't tried out GP Sticker Studio because with the matte vinyl, which is always really, like I like the matte vinyl. It's nice and it's removable, which is amazing. Like seriously removable. Like you can leave a sticker for like 10 minutes and come back to it and it'll peel up just fine. But you have to use special pens, which always drives me crazy. Um, so this, if you have been holding out because you were worried about the pen issue, definitely try this out. So this is the premium matte. In the multicolor stuff I got, I also have glossy, so we'll test that in a minute. But let's get through this mystery kit, now that I've talked about papers for like a gazillion minutes. So her mystery kit is like an amazing deal. I think if I'm counting right, it's like nine sheets of stickers. Yeah, it's nine full sheets of stickers plus this little extra freebie sampler for like 18.50 US. And you can use uh, coupon codes. And I have a coupon code listed below for GP Sticker Studio that takes an extra 20% off. Use like, I think it's Holly Plans 20. I'll have it listed below. So this was like 16 bucks for like a super nice premium matte, um, like 10 page kit. That's insane. So anyway, let's go through it. Here is the freebie. I think this is so cute. It has a lot of her new like functional deco stuff that she's debuted. The lunch date, I love ironing, the cute little bow paper clips, this little chain sheets, the work, I love that work one. 
Really, really cute. These are, this is adorable, really nice. And then here, this is her pretty much her standard format. So you get your um, heart checklist, your little appointment boxes, habit trackers, small little lists. I think, I think she used to do more habit trackers and fewer bill dues. I don't know. Um, weekly ombre, long flags, and then some like little dots and hearts. And then here you have some more little quarter boxes. And then these are like, um, I think the word I'm looking for is bokey, boca bokey effect it's like that like like light flare or like sequins i don't know it's a really cool effect um and these are headers in that that's really cool guys this paper is on point um and then we have the regular to do today headers you have her icons some more functional deco down there i love the sleep in and the bake and the chill out these are really cute and then look at that weekend banner guys i love that i think it's hydrangea I think so. Oh, and then the other thing with this kit is that Gabby hand drew the art for this kit. So I loved that that was, so this is a totally unique kit. That was the other thing that like led me to buy it. I was like, I can't find this art anywhere else and I really like it. So let me buy it. And here are the full boxes. I thought this was so cute. I loved the purples, the grays, um, the pinks. Like this is just beautiful. I love this color palette. It's very like blogger themed, which sometimes I'm kind of like eh about, but honestly, these are all like blogger themes that I like. It's not like Chanel bottles and like Birkins or whatever the bag of the day is. It's more like bikes and like fruit or chia, what do they call it? Chia pudding and like um, coffee and you know, I don't know. Like this does have a, um, is it a Joe Malone or is it Tom Ford? It says Tom Ford, but the bottles, anyway, but anyway, some sort of fancy perfume and the fancy candle, but yeah, this is really, really cute. I really like this. And then you have your heart, uh, heart checklist and she did these just with the um, kind of sequiny, bokeh, whatever effect in the background. I think that looks awesome. Then you get a ton of half boxes and she does, I like she does some simple, some with the prints, some with some deco, and then a few quarter boxes at the top. And then here are the rest of your uh, headers. You get your odds and ends, your um, sidebar headers, your, and then all your little things. And so you do get like a bunch of these. She does do them in different colors, um, which I think is cool. It can look like a little disorganized, but I, I like to work with it. And I think, did she change her font slightly or just made them bolder? Her fonts look really good. Maybe it's just the new paper. Um, and then you have your washi sheet with um, a bunch of printed washi and your two bottom washi strips. And then this was an extra sheet she included for the mystery kit and you get a full set of glitter headers and then you get this beautiful double box. I love this. I think this is so cool. It is the size I think of two Erin Condren boxes and um, it goes like straight up the middle there. I do find them like kind of hard to work into spreads, but this is so adorable. I love the little flower market. And honestly, if you wanted to imagine just cutting this like by that, you could have like four quadrants, like, and you wouldn't really like, you'd kind of cut her head off, but like you could always just kind of use it like that. Um, if you don't like using the tall boxes. So those could easily be cut and still be really cute on their own. So, um, yeah, but I love this. And I like that it's a girl, but you don't like see her face and it's not like so, I don't know, like so fashion girly. It's just more about the flowers than the girl. So the girl doesn't bother me. And then here is the final sheet that has your date covers. You do get two full weeks, which is good because you have enough here for two full weeks easy. And then you get all this deco. I love the bouquets of flowers in the wrapping. I think that's so pretty. The little chia pudding is so freaking cute. The little flower market. I love this. This kid, like Gabby, you hit it out of the park. This kid is awesome. Um, really really impressed um so excited to see she's doing her own art too i think that's awesome and like i said this kit was an amazing deal and the paper is fantastic so let's move on to the stuff i got in her multicolor like i said she had some new functional releases out that i really wanted to try out and i of course had to try out some of her new papers while i was at it and first up is her regular freebie the other one was specific to the mystery kit and i love that she has some of her new stuff here. This is funny. This is like a little Frappuccino um, paper clip. And then you have like a little Manny with the SE, a little beauty appointment. I don't get my lashes done or anything, but I still think that's cute. I love the lunch date ones. I probably should pick up. I don't go on a lot of lunch dates, but in theory, I like the idea of having a lunch date sticker. So this is her matte vinyl. It's still really nice. It's a nice paper, but like 
Guys, that premium matte though, that is real good. Um, okay, and so then here are the sheets I picked up. First up, I picked up this laundry sheet and that um, is her like new kind of, I think she has like separate sheets with like just each of these, but this was like kind of her combined sampler. I love this. I think it's so cool, totally different. Um, the little hampers are so freaking cute and I love that they're pretty neutral so you can incorporate them into a lot of different spreads. I don't personally iron, but I do own a steamer and I'm trying to commit to using it more so that I look less disheveled at work. Um, so I think I would use that for steaming. And then of course folding, always the struggle. Um, but uh, yeah, I just think this is so cute. Really, really cute. And that one I just got on her um, matte vinyl because I just wanted to have something to compare it to, um, which is still really, really nice. I still like her matte vinyl. And if, if like stickers being removable is a worry for you, definitely check out her matte vinyl. And then here I got this sheet of her Alice Girls. I have the like kind of combined sheet of this that has the girl like at a big desk, but then she created just a sheet that is just her working at the desk. And I think these are so cute. I know they're like a little like trendy Wendy for me, but I just really like how neutral they are. I think they're actually really cute because I always, when I'm like getting stuff done, I always throw my hair in a high bun. Um, and then this is on her glossy paper. And guys, her glossy paper is unlike any glossy paper I've ever tried. So it's similar that it has a clear back, which is so weird. And the paper itself is super thick. So can you hear this? So if you can hear how thick it is, I've never had any paper like that. I don't know how I'd feel about a full kit being that thick. Like I almost worry it would like bulk up your planner if you did it every week. But I think for like functional stickers, I think it's super cool. I think out of my two, out of the both, let's do a pen test. Then I can really try this out. Oh, this is pretty nice too. That writes really comfortably, but I think if I had to choose, I would go premium matte. I think, I think just final, final answer, premium matte. Cause I just, I like, I like how smooth it is. This feels almost a little, you can hear that like, there's like a little squeak, like a little squeak to it. Um, but this is really, really nice. It's definitely a different glossy. It's super thick, but if you are a glossy lover, definitely check that out. It's so weird, the back. But yeah, premium matte is my pick. And then I got this, other sheet also in the glossy and this is like her gym bunny sheet and I have a kit based on this clip art but I love what Gabby did she basically made like a gym themed sheet based on the same clip art so I thought this was so cute it won't go with every spread because it does have just pretty bright colors but I figured for summer um, this was pretty cute and the little girl there was really cute and then she did something similar with this art. I love this. Um, the little Nikes, um, the boxing gloves. I don't go to boxing, but I want to figure out what I could use that for. But the kettlebells, the weights, all very pink and black, so only goes with certain spreads. But again, pretty versatile. Um, I love the little swell bottles. I need to get a swell. Um, yeah, anyway, so those are the multicolor sheets. But yeah, so I like the glossy. I love the premium matte. So that is my personal recommendation. So check out GP Sticker Studio if you haven't. Like I said, coupon linked below. I just think the new paper options just make her even more versatile. Um, and I'm super excited about her shop. And next up, guys, we have a ginormous order from Fox and Pip. This was my order from what they called Bow Apocalypse, which was when um, Fox and Pip and Clever Gal Crafts teamed up and did bow themed sheets. I actually haven't ordered from Clever Gal Crafts yet. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've just been kind of waiting on it. I knew when I ordered, I was gonna spend like way too much money. So I've been kind of dragging my feet on ordering. I know, I'm an idiot. Um, so I don't have my Clever Gal Crafts bows yet, but I will be picking those up at some point. And in the meantime, I have these fox and pit bows and lots of other goodies to hold me over. So first up we have the freebie sampler which has some of the bows on it. it has this adorable little fox writing something. One of these planners and then can we talk about this? Um, sticker. This makes me so happy. I want to put this somewhere in my traveler's notebook because my traveler's notebook is getting really chunky. It says I like big planners and I cannot lie. I think that's so funny. So Anyway, let's move on. So I placed an order. I got some of the stuff from a previous release that I hadn't picked up yet. And then some of it was the new releases. So I just went crazy. She had a discount code and guys, I just like lost all, lost all semblance of self-control. So first up we have the bow page flags. These are really cute little delicate, um, little stickers here. And I saw, 
I think I saw Jasenia layer these over another flag sticker and I thought it looked so cute like as a way like the long flags that are in like two little bees kits for example you can layer this over that and it's a really easy way to be able to write on one of those flags because it's so skinny you still see the pattern I don't know did I need all the sheets of these? Absolutely not, but I couldn't decide. And I was like, I can't decide. I just want to get all the colors. So that's that's a recurring theme here. So anyway, I got it in the teal colorway, which is really more of a light green than a teal. And then we got this in the purple, which is a very light pinky purple. Um, colorway and then this is a pink which is a true like almost like an orangey pink not a purpley pink really soft and pretty the gray good neutral and those, so I got so those are the five color schemes she had for all the bow, bow stuff five or four I only got it in four I forget oh the fifth one might have been blue and I decided I guess I just decided to to hold back on one I don't know and then we have the bow happy and then we have this little bow happy mail. I only got this in one. I got it in the pink. I didn't think I'd use that that much. You guys know I don't really track too much happy mail unless it's something really special um, or unless I'm mailing out happy mail. Um, but this is so cute with the little stickers. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says stickers and has little bows on it. And then the envelope has a bow. So stinking cute. And then I also got the Bow coffee mug in pink because, um, you know, I just, I'm incorporating a lot of pink lately. I thought about getting this one in purple too, but just got it in the pink because I have a lot of coffee stickers, but th these are really, really cute. And then on to the other, the bigger sheets here. Now they are bigger. They still do fit into a four by six photo album, which is how I store my Fox and Pips. Um, and I... But yeah, these are the like there, but they're still able to fit in there, which I like a lot. So first up is the YouTube sampler she did with Jasenia. I was so excited to get my hands on this. I bought two because I was worried that they were limited edition, but apparently they weren't. So I didn't need to freak out. But um, this is so pretty. It's like this really like yellowy um, beige kind of tone. And then this like almost peachier pink and she has these little like bow boxes and nail polishes lipstick and perfume I love this girl with the bow on the back um these bigger paperclip ones so cute the socks so so cute Jasenia did a great job really adorable and then this was another youtuber she collab she did I don't actually watch this youtuber I should check her out but it's AD Jackson 330 so I guess it's kind of succulent and cactus themed which I thought was so fun and then we have this girl kind of holding the cactus in different size I love that this mug I don't know if you can see it says prickly before coffee that cracks me up but I thought this was another nice one and just had like a lot of the pink bows and stuff really cute and then she released these sets of habit trackers. I love these. These are so fun. I just think they're so pretty and also functional. I don't have any like pretty habit trackers, so had to grab these. So I got them in the purple, the mint. Yeah, this is more of a mint color than a teal. I think mint is the right term. And then uh, gray. Oh, and, and then I got pink too. Yeah, the gray and then the pink. I loved these. So freaking pretty. And then I also got this planner full of secrets. This is like the traveler's notebook one, which is why she calls it strings, not rings. Um, and it's like a mean girl's quote that says, that's why my planner is so big. It's full of secrets. I think that's so freaking funny. Love that. And then this one's called her in the zone girl. And guys, this is like hardcore me when I'm like getting my, when it's, I'm at work I and I'm like need to get shit done. The hair goes up, the glasses go on, the coffee gets poured. And this is me to a T. I love this. And I don't know if you can tell, but instead of like being a MacBook or something, the little laptop has a bow on it, which I think is so cute. Really, really cute. And now we get into the release she did do with um, Clever Gal Crafts. They did like a combined color scheme and the color schemes were like to die for. I, I was like hoping before I placed my Clever Gal Crafts order, I was hoping that she was gonna come out with like all of her icons in these color schemes, but she hasn't yet. And I might just have to, now that I have this order in, I might just have to place my order anyway. But these color schemes are amazing. Guys, I went crazy. I will never use this many bow paper clips in my entire life. Like there is no way I have no idea why I got all of these, but like, they're so cute, but I need to start just using them for like any little reminder. In the past, for whatever reason, I've always thought of paper clips as meaning like work related, but I think I just need to use these like constantly for all the reminders ever because they're so freaking cute and I have so many of them. So this was the Stella color scheme. Really, all of these color schemes were amazing and muted and so pretty. This is the Sophie one. 
Really, really cute. That one reminds me of the Jessenia sheet. The Millie one, which is a, cl color, a color scheme that Clever Girl Crafts already did and I have sheets of. Really good one. The Miranda color scheme, love this, with like the mints and the purples. The Lily color scheme, which is one she already had and I have a lot of the matching sheets for. So those were the bow paper clips that I got. And then I also got some of the bow clip boxes, which are really, really cute. These are just like little cutout boxes with the bow paper clip on it. So you could use these for whatever. And I got these just in the Lily, the Sophie, and the Stella. So held back a little bit there. But yeah, obviously went way over the top in Bowpocalypse. I think we all did. But this is so awesome. I'm just so excited about all these releases and starting to use all my new Fox and Pip goodies. So that is it from Fox and Pip. And then finally, in this part, I have the I, an order from Planner Bell Press. And here I got a monthly kit and a full kit. So let me go ahead and show you the monthly kit first. And I got, I ordered this kind of thinking that it might, maybe you guys will have seen this before um, this video goes up instead of the Hello Petite paper. I'm not sure yet guys, but anyway, I got this and I ordered thinking that it might come before May, but um, even though like I ordered it on like her Easter sale, so I realized it probably wouldn't, but um, I just, was trying to get this to use as like my functional kit for May um, since I've already done a monthly kit smackdown with her. Um, but anyways, here is the little uh, freebie because she she did this special for Easter, kind of unicorn themed, very cute. The little bow clip is really cute. These little unicorns are so adorable. Um, and so this is the monthly kit I got. So yeah, you guys might have seen this one instead of the Hello Petite paper. I'll leave whichever one you see linked below. Anyway, here we have this beautiful, um, like hot air balloon themed kit. I love the Planner Bell Press monthly kits. I think they're like a really good affordable month monthly option. Um, they're just really like they have just enough of everything, but they're like super affordable and just really, really cute. Um, so here is this one. Um, here's the first sheet. You get your covers, um, some bill dues, payday flags, icons, and little holidays. Then the other half of the cover and your stackable sidebar and your date dots. And then you get your week, a birthday, some event stickers, some deco, and vacation strips and flags. So I got the regular monthly kit, and then I also picked up her notes page. I didn't do a notes page for April because I just kind of ran out of time, and I was like really disappointed because I like didn't have any of my memories from the month. So I decided to just pick up this kit because it was pretty affordable. It was like seven bucks, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do this matching one with the monthly kit so that I have both of them here. And then I have like my memories down because I kind of was bummed I hadn't tracked that. So on her, this is her, um, I think she calls this like her notes kit. She has like a memory keeping one, which is the one I had tried before, but this is like the more, um, like, I don't know. I don't know how you want to describe this one, but it has a lot more lists. So you have to get the cover for the top, some um, lists that you can use with different headers, some little strips. And then you get some deco, a lot of deco, and a little currently thing, which I think is pretty cute. So. Um, that is the little notes kit I picked up. And so that is the monthly stuff. And then I also picked up this kit that I had been eyeing for a while. She had a 30% off sale and I was like, oh, let me try it. I don't know. Um, Planner Bell Press, by the way, is another shop. I have a coupon code down below for it's 25% off. Holly Plans 25. And her stuff is really nice for the price. Another one that's like a super good affordable option. So I did pick up the full kit in this Adelina collection. I just love this because I love the combo of like navy and like bright summertime colors. I don't know why, I'm just like really feeling that lately. So here is what you get. You get your glitter headers right on top. And then you have this functional sheet that has your heart checklist. I love this quote box. It says, don't forget to smile with the florals. This is like what sold me on the kit, this quote box right there. And then you get some icon stickers and then you get all of her awesome functional deco like date night, laundry day, workout, the movie marquee, little laptops, one of her little bells down there. Really, really cute. Then another functional sheet that has some bill dues, habit trackers, flags, some little lists, um, some half boxes and quarter boxes in your weekend banner. 
And then here you get your um, headers and these are color blocked. You get your little things um, and she has, she's still doing the thing where she has like six meals in one color and then the seventh in another color, which a little bit drives me crazy, but um, otherwise you get a good variety. Then here are your ombre hair checklist, fairly basic, five hearts, very cute. I mean, this is the gorgeous washi page, super pretty. Love this big, bold graphic washi. And then you get your printed washi here. And then here are your full boxes. I love how she brought in the navy and the lighter blues. I love this box with the floral. Really, really pretty. And then the final sheet here that has your date covers and your a few sidebar things and deco. So really cute kit. Um, I liked that it was summery without being like flamingo themed, you know? Um, so I figure I will use that this summer. Super pretty. And that is it from Planner Bell Press. Okay guys, so I have another round of stickers from this week to share with you. So let me go ahead and dive in. First up, I have an order from Lexi Kylie Designs, who I have not ordered from in a while, um, but I do love her stuff. She has a great paper and she uh, also ships really quickly. So I got this super fast. I had actually been waiting a bit to place an order. I had wanted this 4th of July kit, but I wanted to see if she ran a sale and then she ran 30% off for Mother's Day. So I was super excited. Anyway, um, let me go ahead and show you what I picked up. First up, she included this adorable sampler. I love this. She always has the most practical samplers. I love that she has something for Father's Day. Summer is here. The beach day one is super cute. Definitely will hang on to that. And then I did pick up the kit. And I picked up a few other things, but I'll show you the kit first. So I did not get the full kit. I think the way she does it is her full kits are available like on the first, like she initially stocks her full kits and then if they run out of stock, she doesn't restock the full kits. She only like leaves the a la carte stuff up. So I missed the full kit, which is actually fine because I really didn't need it. I really like using her stuff for plan as I go, which is how um, I will probably use this kit. So that kind of informed what I picked up. So I did go ahead and pick up the little things. I thought this was so cute with like the touches of glitter there. And then obviously these ones are glitter but I just liked these ones especially. I picked up the extra sheet of half boxes because when I do the white space planning like plan as I go um, I always want extra half boxes and I loved this for a fourth of July kit because it was still very patriotic but um, had like a lot more of the floral elements so I really liked this kit. And then here we have your date covers and some extra deco. Love that she has a little BBQ one because I we are not traveling for the fourth this year. So I'm sure we will be grilling out. Um, and then uh, these really cute date covers are awesome. And then here is like her two page base kit for vertical. And first up you have this sheet that has all this amazing functional deco, some flags, your heart checklist, or rather star checklist. Those are so cute. Um, an extra full box that is like celebrating the 4th of July, some habit trackers and um, bill due and a day off, which I like because I do get 4th of July off. These are so cute though. I love all of that stuff. And then here um, you get some more half boxes, a weekly ombre, some quarter boxes, a few washi strips and some random headers. I love that she did little stars up here um, to go along with the theme of the kit. So cute. And then next up is the full boxes. I loved these. I loved, again, I just loved the touches of floral with, and like still like very celebratory without being over the top on like the patriot, patriotic and over the top on like fireworks. I just think this is such a simple, pretty kit. And then the final sheet I picked up is her washi sheet and her washi sheet is where she puts her glitter headers. So um, you do get a full um, week's worth of glitter headers on the washi sheet. So that was why I didn't pick up any headers. And I also didn't pick up the ombre heart checklist. I figured I could pull in something from my multicolor collection for the sidebar and then I wouldn't really need them in the spread um, for since I'm doing plan as I go. So you get the glitter header, some extra washi sheets or washi strips, and then the gorgeous bottom washi. So loved this kit. I think it's so pretty. Excited to use this for the week of the 4th. If you're looking for a slightly different sort of 4th of July kit, I think you should check this out. And then next up, I did go ahead and pick up her monthly kit for June. 
I saw this kit and I just fell in total love. I just thought this art, I've seen this art a lot, but just the way she put it all together, I just thought it was so freaking cute. I just was totally in love. I'm not going camping at all in June or anything like that, but for some reason I was just obsessed with this art. So she did also recently add a third page option to her kits. So, or I don't know, maybe it was always an option, but then she reformatted, I don't know. I remember looking at this kit and thinking that it was more functional than it had been previously. So I think I'm gonna do kind of like a re-test in a monthly kit smackdown of this kit because um, I am excited to use it. So anyway, uh, first up you get your strips to cover the top and then you get your stackable sidebar. And I think she made a weekly kit to match this too. I'm gonna try to resist picking that up because I don't need more kits and I'm not going camping, but it is really cute. Um, and then on this sheet, you get all these really cute little functional deco things, um, the trash cans, your payday flags, just a couple of icons, your stackable sidebar headers, some holidays, some birthday things, a few bigger boxes, some smaller labels, and your bill dues. And then on this one, you get your day, things to cover the days not in the month. You get some vacation strips, and then you get some deco and some flags here. So there's like this random strip, um, or some date dots here um, that are in the shape of flags, which I think is really cute. So I think this is a very cute little kit. Um, not super big, but it's only three pages, so I wouldn't expect it to be. Um, really cute though. And then the final thing I picked up was some multicolor stuff I had had my eye on for a while and I was just kind of like waiting till I wanted to make an order. I had this like in saved in my, you know, save for later section forever. And the first sheet I got was this grilling and chilling one. I think this is awesome. Um, my husband and I love to cook, do like cookouts in the back. We love to, you know, even just like on a weeknight, we like to grill and just have a beer and be in the backyard. Um, we haven't done it as much this summer because I've been working a lot, um, but hopefully we can make some time for it and get some good barbecues going. And um, I, my one complaint with Lexi Kylie designs, I always wish she had a little, like her, her multicolor stuff is so bright, like she has a lot of bright colors, but especially for something that's more summer themed, I don't mind that as much since I tend to use a little bit brighter kits in the summer. Um, but yeah, she doesn't have a lot of neutrals on her sheet. It's just like one thing I'll note. And then the next multicolor thing I got was this two page dog care sheet. You guys know I've recently got a dog and I've been picking up dog stickers here and there. Um, I loved this one. I thought this had like such a good variety. You get um, some food ones, but I don't really need a reminder in my planner to feed her. Like, trust me, she will let us know. If if she needs to be fed, but I think that's maybe you could use that to mark um, if you're doing something special with the food, like sometimes if dogs are taking a medicine or if they're sick, you might be changing it up or to remind you to pick up food. And then here's just a little bone. I think that could be anything dog related or if you want a specific like play with them or something. Then we have all these walks, which is awesome because I love, we walk our dog all the time. And then we have vet appointment ones. Um, these, I think, because they're in the shape of the heart, you could almost use them for heartworm pills, but you could also just use them for any, like, you know, time you're spending with your dog. I just think those are really cute. And um, then you just have simple paw prints. Again, you could use it for whatever. And then you have um, little bath washing, so, um, which is good because we do wash our dog at home. Um, so yeah, I thought this variety was great, uh, really nice. And again, this is all on her beautiful premium matte paper that is just so comfortable. And then the final multicolor sheet I got was this, um, little desktop computer sheet. Do I need another sheet of computers? Probably not, but I just thought these were so cute. I love the little, I saw, I think Mandy Dreams used these in one of her, um, her plan with me's and that was when I stuck it in my cart because I was like, oh my God, they're so cute. Um, but they're just a cute little shape. I love the little heart. And I do like here, she has a little bit better color variety, like a little bit more um, softer colors and neutrals and stuff. So I liked that a lot. So that was it from Lexi Kylie Designs. I was excited to finally place another order from her. I do really like her stuff. So that is it for that order. And then next up we have a shop that I feel like has been in like every one of my hauls lately. I am obsessed with her stuff. As you guys know, Planner Gems, her stuff has just been so freaking stunning. Um, I This was an order, she really had like two new kit releases and I picked up both of them. Um, so let me show you guys what I got. First up is this really cute freebie sampler. Seems like she changed it up for summer and it has like the nautical theme, which I think is very cute. 
and then her little business card. And then here are the two kits. I got a full kit and a mini kit. I'll show you guys the mini kit first. And this mini kit is in called Pink Drink, which I think is funny. Sidebar, I did finally try the pink drink recently at Starbucks. It is surprisingly good and also not as caloric as I would have expected it to be. So um, I might get that again. So anyway, this is appropriate. So I do think she changed up her mini kit format just a little, she said, during her break. So the main thing I can see that's different is this sheet. So um, this is the little half sheet you get along with the mini kit. It has your habit trackers. It used to have two weekly lists, but I really like that she made one of them an ombre heart checklist instead because I personally, in my sidebar, like to use one of each. And then she added these little bow strips. I don't really know what the idea is behind these. Maybe just as like a section divider or just to draw attention to something, but she added those in multicolor in her shop. I'll have to see how she uses them. Um, and then you get your little flags. I love that she does little matching flags, so cute. Little planner, oh my God, the planner has like a little mason jar on it. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, a little list, some arrows, and a little happy mail. I did get this in her premium matte paper. I've decided to just go all in on her premium matte. Like it's always more expensive, but her premium matte is so freaking nice and I always love writing on it, so. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna splurge a little. So anyway, um, then up here you get all of your icon stickers. You get um, a good mix of functional deco and just regular deco. Her deco is always really petite, which is really cute. Then you get these um, flags, a little sticky, a movie marquee, your heart checklist, and your weekend banner. And then on this sheet is your washi sheet. I loved this bottom washi with the little picket fence. So cute. You get some extra washi strips and then you get your little things there. And she includes just a sampling of little things, not enough to do like a full week's worth of meals or anything, but I think that is perfectly fine because I don't always use them. It really depends on the week. So here now is the um, full boxes. I think these are so pretty. I loved the mason jar, like lemonade, like um, wood fence kind of theme. That is just my vibe for summer, much, much more so than like flamingos and um, tropical. This is like more like backyard hangout summer, which is really what we like to do. So that's nice. And then you get your little gem boxes at the bottom. And then finally, you get your regular headers, uh, to do today, et cetera, some sidebar headers, your half boxes and quarter boxes. I love this half box, so cute. So I really like this kit. I think it's just like soft and pretty, but still very summery. And I didn't have some like a ton of kits that were like super summery. So um, this is perfect. So that is the pink drink kit. And then I picked up her Santorini kit in the full kit with the add-on. I went like all in on this, but I got this because my husband and I are planning on going to Greece this fall. So, and we would go to Santorini. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I have to get it. Cause it's so perfect for that kind of trip. So I did go ahead and pick up this add-on. She has an add-on that you can get the gem headers, which have the little arrows at the bottom too. And these are just like glitter headers, but in a gem set uh, print and supposed to glitter and it comes with this double box how freaking amazing is this double box i love this with like the greek looking buildings in the background it's like on a veranda or something with the line with the lemons and the purple flowers oh, this is so stunning so had to get that full but that double box because that's so freaking cute and then on to the actual kit i think she might have changed up just the format just a little and i don't think that much though but anyway up here you get your um, icons, you get some sticky notes, flags, some little tiny pieces of deco, so cute, I love these. The um, her checklist, some teardrops, and the weekend banner. And then here is your washi sheet and you oh, get this beautiful bottom washi. I love this, very beachy, very just so soft and pretty. And then you get a bunch of strips of washi, a good mix between printed and not printed. And then here it, you get some quarter boxes, a bunch of functional deco. I really like these. You get like a really good variety, a little wind down. This planner is so cute. Nail polish, credit card, coffee, dog stuff, really cute. And then you get two little lists to go into clean you, and your date covers here with your numbers and your flags for the top. I wonder if the, people still include those now that the neutral planner, I don't know what people are gonna do. Anyway, um, 
Here are the full boxes. And I mean, these are just so stunning. I love this. It's so, so grease to me, which is gonna be perfect for our trip. And yeah, I just love this. And then the bottom quarter boxes there. And then here you get your eight half boxes, weekly ombres, habit trackers, build dues, um, little lists, and these cute little bow things that I don't know what you use them for, but they're very cute. I got this in premium matte as well, by the way. Um, I, this sheet seems to have changed, but I can't quite place my finger on how it changed. And then you get these beautiful kind of almost sky looking um, ombre heart checklists, or not ombre, but just regular full box heart checklists. And I just love the kind of like soft sky in the background. And then you get your canceled uh, headers. And then here are your regular headers and little things. And the little things you do get a full week's worth here for the full kit. So her full kits are super big. I'm trying to mostly order her mini kits unless I really feel like I need the full kit. Um, but for this one, obviously I needed the full kit. So, um, so stunning and yeah, just a And so that is it for my planner gems order. And then next up, I have two orders from Little Miss Papery. One took a little bit to get to me and then the other one came super fast. So that's why I have two. And so first up was my order from um, Brittany's clearance sale. Um, I got two grab bags and then one uh, kit that I made. So basically she had some kits that she wanted to clear out because she was changing her kit format up. So um, she did it as like a clearance sale. So everything was like discounted. And I was like, there was a kit I had been eyeing for a while and I knew I wanted to pick up. So I did go ahead and pick that up. But first I also picked up, well actually first let's just go over her new freebie. I love that she's doing these. She's doing in these like a variety of multicolors um and i got the red one i totally want to like collect them all of course um and yeah i just think it's really functional you get a big laptop some rescheduled two dollar tuesday is it friday yet new releases and then some little like tvs and some dots so really cute and so first up i did go ahead and pick up this horizontal kit for the marble kit. I loved this kit and I had gotten the full vertical, but when I originally got it, Brittany accidentally sent me the horizontal boxes and then she resent me the vertical ones, but she said, go ahead and keep the horizontal boxes, which was very nice of her. So since I already had the horizontal boxes and this was on sale, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the horizontal full kit. So now I have um, this plus the boxes plus whatever leftovers I have from my vertical kit and I could do a horizontal spread out of this. And I really like her kits for horizontal. I think they're really functional. And yeah, I, and I just loved this kit. So I was like, you know what? I gotta get it. So picked that up. And then I also went ahead and picked up the nautical kit. And I had been eyeing this for a while, but I knew I wasn't gonna really use it till later in the summer. So I was kind of waiting to see if she did put it on Markdown and she did. But the problem was I waited so long that the like vertical um, regular kit wasn't available. So I'm gonna make this work. I'll show you guys what I did. So I did go ahead and pick up the date covers. I really like her date covers they are so pretty. And then I picked up the regular headers as well. I was kind of torn between this and glitter, but I think for this kit, I liked the regular a little better. So um, I did get her regular headers and they are color blocked. And then, like I said, she was out of the vertical kit in both matte and glossy. So I went ahead and picked up the horizontal kit instead. And I think I could make this work. So it still has the habit trackers. It has a weekly ombre um, and it has some checklists, but some of them are shorter. So I can use those on days when I don't have as much to do. Um, and then of course you get all your icons and all of that, which is the same as the other kits. So I'm not as worried about that. I was just worried about the checklist and then the sidebar stuff, but I think we can go ahead and make this work. So um, I got the horizontal and then I got the full little labels cause I really like these. And, um, I always can use these as quarter boxes too. I got the regular vertical full boxes here. I loved this. I love this theme for this kit. I might use it the week I go to Nantucket because um, it's just very nautical feeling and I just think it's so pretty. Really, really nice. And then finally on this sheet, you get your bottom washi, some glitter strips, extra half boxes and some deco. I don't love the girl, but um, just because you guys know I'm not a huge into girls, but I am glad she didn't put that in the full boxes. So you can always choose whether you want to add her or not. And also I think it's nice that Brittany included um, somebody with more diverse skin tone, since I know that's often an issue for 
non-white buyers. There's always white girls in sticker kits, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, so that is my um, the kit I ordered, and then I and then I did get two grab bags. And guys, I I had put myself on a ban from buying grab bags. I used to buy them a lot, but I found that I really wouldn't use the stuff because like it wouldn't come as a kit. So it was like, well, I'm not gonna like pull it in, and I have so much multicolor stuff, I don't need it. But these were $5 and I was like, you know what? I gotta try it, I gotta see. And I love Little Miss Papery. I will say I'm not like, I don't feel like I like, should have gotten it basically. <laughs> In summary, I should not have picked it up, but you know what? I tried and it was okay. I was hoping to get a little bit more um, functional or multicolor stuff, but this was like a, a very strange variety of stuff. I'll go ahead and show you guys. So first up is my first grab bag and the first I do did get these adorable glitter headers. These will actually be coming a lot of like it these will actually come in handy for sure. It's a great color selection. So I'm glad I got those. And then I got these sequin half boxes. I do have this kit. I have yet to use it. Um, so I can pull those in for that. Uh, so that is good. And then these glitter quarter boxes, very cute. The I got them in matte, um, which is totally fine. These don't seem to have any issues. So I don't know if she was just trying to clear out old stock or what, but perfectly nice. So those I can use. And then I got one page of the um, wild kit and I had not picked this up. Uh, the colors are good. So maybe I'll just kind of hang this on to this and use it in various um, spreads because it does have good colors like pinks and purples and teals colors that come up a lot so that is good then i got this i'm never going to use this so i might just give this put this in my donation pile um it has it's like the green it's for her saint patrick's day coloring it's the little things and then this i got one page of the april monthly kit very pretty but i don't uh see myself using that considering it's already may and then we have this sheet from the horizontal sheet from her um, palms kit and this one I can see is not printed great but um, you to still totally usable I did not pick this kit up but um, you know you could still I could still do like some sort of summary spread with that so maybe I'll hang on to that and then this from Halloween she was going way back here on her um, oops stuff uh, this was Halloween bottom washi I could save it for next Halloween or I could give it away and then here this is actually nice because these are good colors this is from her Easter kit which I did use uh, and liked a lot and these are the um, little things to go with that so uh, quite the strange variety but I think it's like it's funny to me how old some of them are but um, I could definitely make use of some of those then the problem was I had like a lot of repeats. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what I had. Um, not a lot, but enough that it was like, huh. Uh, so first up on this one, I got the matte version of the rainbow glitter headers and these are very pretty. So I can hang on to those, very cool. And then I got another one of these sequin half boxes, exact same ones as the other ones. Uh, so I might just give one of them away and hang on to one of them to use with the kit. And then same thing here, I got another of the glitter quarter boxes. These I'll probably just keep since you could always use more quarter boxes, but um, yeah, I got another one of those. And then I got the first page of a the Easter kit. This one I can see, you guys can see here is a little, they cut all the way through, but still totally usable. The stickers just kind of looks not nice. So that's nice, um, but the Easter kit I did use already, but at least I have this and the little thing so I guess I could make a kit out of it somehow and then I got another one of these St. Patrick's Day sheets I'm yeah I'll probably be giving these away um, but that is okay and this one does seem to be a little miscut too and then here the second page of the April kit that I am not quite sure I will use so that might go to a friend but very nice and then I got another sheet of this kit. So I don't know, maybe I should try to combine the two sheets to do like a little spread somehow. But this is the second page of the vertical kit. The other one was the horizontal, so very nice. And then here, this was a kit I did use actually, and it's the bottom washi for the Lovebirds kit. I loved this kit, um, very nice. And then finally, some little things in some good colors. I think this was for September colorway. Oh no, maybe the hydrangea one, but um, it is a, like a little, you can see it's a little cut all the way through, but totally usable. So I 
probably will hang on to that because that's really good colors. So yes, for five bucks, I mean, you know, even like, even if I just keep a couple of the sheets per, um, per each bag and then pass the rest on to you guys, I'm not hung up on it. I think that was a lot of fun and fun way to try out her stickers if you guys don't normally try out her stickers. Definitely keep an eye out for her mishap bags. And then the final thing that I picked up was this new kit from her and this was in a separate order. And this is her new kit format. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. You guys know I love Little Miss Papery. I think I've mentioned that in her Facebook group, she's been working on reformatting her kits and asking all of us for our opinions, which I think is awesome and trying to make the most usable kits there is. And then can we also appreciate that on my invoice, I got, I love this, Brittany or one of her girls wrote, hey girl, hey, which I love. I think that's so funny. And so this came with a little um, card here. I think this is so nice. She's including this. It says, characters, how you treat those who can do nothing for you. I think that's awesome. I love that sentiment. I think that is so true. And I think this is really nice. And I love the size of this. So definitely hanging on to that. And then for this order, the freebie, I love that she's doing this now. The freebie coordinates with the kit, which I think is so cool. Um, so this is destination and you get the big laptop, the $2 Tuesday, is it Friday yet? New releases, it's the same one as the other one, but it coordinates with the kit, which I think is perfect. So I'm really excited about that. I always hung out to my Little Miss papery um, freebies anyway. So now that they come with the coordinating kit, I think it's really cool. And so what I picked up was her full vertical kit. So I will show you guys what that looks like. And then I also picked up an add-on sheet that I am so excited about. We will get to that in a minute, but let's go through the full kit right now. So first up in the full kit has not changed. You do get your glitter headers with the full kit, which I love because you can always use her kits for over two weeks. Um, so good to have the glitter headers on hand and then you do get the regular headers as well and this one she did do color blocked i love these colors i did already get um a kit with this art from two little bees and i said i loved the art so much that i might be buying a second kit with it this was the kit i had in mind i loved how they both did it and you guys know i love both of those shops so had to get both um so anyway here are the headers and then this is one of the big changes her little things are a lot smaller let me get out an old sheet Here's the old sheet and here is the new sheet. So you guys can see you're getting about half as much. Um, I think that's fine. I think a lot of people came nowhere near using all of these. Um, when I get used it over two weeks, I could come pretty close to using like a lot of them, but um, I think this is totally fine. She still has a pretty good variety. You get a full week's worth of meals. You get um, seven TVs. You get a laptop, phone, a couple of asterisks. And I like that she includes some little blank ones at the bottom so you can kind of make your own little thing. But yeah, I think this is a more normal amount of little things. She always included a ton. So I think this is probably makes a lot of sense for most people. And then here's the new two page kit format. And this is actually the same for vertical and horizontal. So. One of the th big things Brittany wanted to do on the reformat was make sure that she, or like make it easier on her girls and like on herself and have fewer sheets that differentiated by vertical and horizontal. So she, now the only things that are different for vertical and horizontal are the full boxes and the full box heart checklist. Everything else is the same between the two kits. So I think that's very interesting. So basically um, she did redesign this significantly. So now on this sheet, instead of getting Getting your full heart checklist you get these little half heart checklists which I know a lot of people like I prefer the full but we'll get to that in a minute um, so you do get the little short ones there which is nice if you need that you get some two weeks worth of little mini flags you get these little fork and knife which I think are so cute and then all this functional deco she added so many little cutout icons it must take her forever to cut the sheet now but honestly I think it's so nice so I'm excited about it um, you get little laptops, little TVs, little trash cans, little uh, grocery carts, clock, car, shopping bag, pet asterisk, so a few workout things, um, happy mail, a couple workout things. You get a kettlebell, um, a dumbbell, like a yoga sticker and like a little flexing thing, which I think is so cute. You get a weekend banner that I think is the horizontal weekend banner. Then you get a weekend banner for vertical, but I love that because if you're using it over two weeks, you get both. She cut down the, the amount of circle icons she was including, which I really like because I, for whatever reason, I never used her circle icons as much. I prefer the cutout and her functional deco. Um, so she cut those down a lot. Still has a ton of functional deco. She cut it down to just one daily chore, 
which I'm happy about because I never really use those. But you get a girls' night, payday, laundry, takeout's really cute. Let's go shopping is new. Laundry day, date night, that's a new format. I kind of miss the old format, but that's cute too. Family time, coffee cup, happy mail, planner, lazy day. The movie marquee is smaller, but that's good because I think most people don't go to movies every week. I love the me time still. And of course the classic balloons. So really good variety. You get a ton of just little mini icons there. And like for most of them, it's really enough that you could use over two weeks, which I like a lot. And then onto this sheet, you get seven half boxes, seven quarter boxes, a good variety of printed and not printed. And then you get some, a smattering of headers that really uh, probably would be more sidebar type headers besides the today, but you get work, top three, happy mail, dinners, all of that. You get some more blank little things down there. I love that she has three habit trackers now. That's awesome. The bill dues, um, a big flag down here. And then a this week and next week kind of decorative headers. I think people use those in the horizontal a lot, but those will be nice for the vertical too. And then the one thing I was kind of like eh about is that you get a, a weekly ombre but it's size for the horizontal so it's not as big as a full box so actually here just cutting ahead so this is what a vertical one looks like and that's what a horizontal one looks like so it's just kind of tiny to me um, but I get that she wanted it to be applicable to both vertical and horizontal and the horizontal can fit in the vertical sidebar but the opposite is not true so um, I think that's fine and so the heart checklists on here are shorter. This is like the regular vertical and that is the new one. So I am totally fine with that if that is what it takes. So these are hot size for the horizontal. So if that's what it takes to get these checklists into the regular kit, I am fine with that. I can totally uh, deal with that. I don't mind. It just means it'll be a little bit shorter in your box, which I think actually will look nice for some spreads. So that works. And then on the sheet, you also get your half boxes. So that means you get like a total of... 13 half boxes and you get three more quarter boxes which i think brings you up to like 15 quarter boxes it's insane um and then you get your date covers these are gorgeous i love how she designed those so pretty and then um on so yeah so that's the new sheet and then on to this this is your washi sheet she did change this so again it's ver applicable for both vertical and horizontal so here's where your washi strips that used to be on the main vertical kit went so these are like the little mini strips um these are not enough if you're a no white space planner i do not think the little miss papery spreads are, or the kits are great for you but um I think that, I, I mean, they work perfectly for me as a white space planner. So anyway, now you have your um, regular bottom washi here that I guess could also be top washi for a horizontal. And then you get these strips, which are really intended for horizontal, but you can always find a cool way to bring them into a vertical planner as well. Um, very cute. But yeah, so you get all of these now on the same sheet. And then down here, you get some little deco. I love these. So pretty. And then a little hello and some extra dots. So very cute. So that is the full kit format. And just FYI for the mini kit, you get this washi sheet, this date cover and checklist sheet, the full box sheet, and then the two page kit base kit. So that is, so the mini kit comes with pretty much everything you need besides headers. And I think she does that because people like half the people like glitter headers and half the people like regular headers. So just pick up your header add on if you need it. Um, and then you would have a full white space spread with even with a lot of leftovers. So um, very functional. And so that is the new full kit. And then she also released, she's also starting to release some add ons to her kits. And the one she's released so far is the fitness one guys. If you know me at all, you know, I am so excited about this. It is just like, or this sheet is just like, oh my God, like fitness girl dreams. What fitness girl dreams are made of, it is so awesome. So let's go ahead and walk through it. So this is like an add-on, you can pick it up, um, you know, and add it. To, I think she's gonna make it for every single kit. And I love this one, especially, well, let's walk through it and I'll tell you guys why I like it better than other people's. Um, so anyway, so at the top you get three little workout boxes. I think this is so cute. I really like these. My one thing is that they don't quite stand out that well if you're putting it on just a white page. I almost wish the border was a little bit thicker or that there was a print in the background because that's like, I started to use these in a spread recently, but if I was just using it on top of a piece of like um, regular paper, it didn't look that good, but they look good on top of full boxes because then the, the white pops on a background. I don't know if that makes sense, but they're really, really cute. I really like those. And then you get some extra habit trackers, which I love because um, 
I do have like, if I'm using this over two weeks, then I get a full week's worth or two full weeks worth of habit trackers. I think this weigh-in is cute. I'm trying to do a little bit more on my own weight tracking and um, meal tracking. So I think that's perfect. I love this little charge reminder. I always forget to charge my Fitbit and it always dies. So I'm gonna start using one of those every week when she releases those in the multicolor. Um, then we have the, you get another week's worth of meals, which I think is great. You get some headers that are specific to um, fitness stuff. So you get like steps, workouts, hydrate. I think that's awesome. You get a little hydrate sticker, very cute. You get the, um, another weekly ombre, which is perfect. You get some extra bill dues. I don't know. I guess is she saying that us fitness girls have a lot of bills to pay, like all our fitness classes? I don't know. I'm kidding. Um, some extra quarter boxes and then all this awesome functional deco at the bottom. So she has like a little bike, a little um, weight, this little swimming thing, bathing suit, yoga, kettlebell, two kettlebells. And then I love these. Like, can you guys see these? These are so awesome. This one says lift heavy with a kettlebell. I love that. Squat low. You did it. You got this. You can and you will. I love all of these. And I just think this is just the perfect little add-on. I know a lot of shops have been coming out with fit kits, add-on, um, like, you know, scribble prints, glam planner, a bunch of other shops too. Um, but a lot of those are like two page kits that are really intended for like full meal tracking and um, for doing an entire like specific spread for fitness. Whereas I feel like this just adds some nice fitness stickers to your regular spread, which is really how I plan my workouts. I do have separate meal tracking in my traveler's notebook that I'm trying to write down what I'm eating every day. Um, and that's also where I'm doing my hydration tracking. Um, but I could just bring in a few of these stickers into that and then put the rest of them, like my workouts, um, all of these cute little, um, deco stickers, the charging, that kind of stuff into my regular spread. So I just am personally never going to do just a dedicated fitness planner. Um, I know a lot of people that are into fitness do, but for me, that's just not... I don't know. I just, I've never gotten into that. I, I don't consider it enough of a focus for me that I need to have a separate planner for it. So, um, and honestly, I like to incorporate, I, for me, my workouts tend to take a while or especially when I'm going to work out classes that have a set time, I need to incorporate them into my main life plans so that I can organize appropriately. I don't know if that makes sense, but, um, so it wouldn't make sense to separate them out to me. So I love this add on for that reason. It's a little bit more affordable than those other fit kits cause it's just one page and it's not like intended to be, you know, full breakfast through dessert, snacks, all that stuff, meal tracking every day. It's more just like about an add on. So I am super excited about the new reformat. I was really nervous that I wasn't going to have everything I wanted, but I feel like I got everything I wanted and more. Um, so I, yeah, still, you know, loving Little Miss Papery as always, and definitely check her out. I do have a link, a referral link below, um, that gives you 10% off your first order. Um, but either way, definitely check her out and do uh, make sure you're shopping from her on Shopify. She does have an Etsy site, but Shopify is where you get your points and you can always use those to redeem. I actually used my points for this order. I got $25 off this kit. So I thought that was pretty awesome. So anyway, that is it for Little Miss Papery. Okay guys, so that is it for this haul. I love everything I picked up. Um, I just, I love all these shops. I think there are a lot of really good options. If you haven't tried them yet, definitely do so and let them know that I sent you. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy seeing my Etsy sticker hauls and subscribe to see more. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.